Today I'm going to show you how to take a video of your computer, just exactly like I'm doing now, where you can see the whole mouse and the whole screen and everything. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple ways to do it. The first one is the free version. Uh, it works really well. Um, I, like I used to use it actually. So uh, it, it makes very good videos. Uh, the place to go to is camstudio.org and this is the program to download. I'll put a link to it in the description. And when you're here, you just download uh, this option right here, the latest version, Kim Studio 2.7. Then just click Download, and it'll bring you here to the SourceForge.net downloader. And if it doesn't download automatically, then click this big green button over here. It might have other ads on, like, click here to download or whatever, but you don't want to click on any of those. Just click on the green one here. After it downloads, you're going to have a download that looks like this, Kim Studio 2.7 uh, setup.exe and then just run that to install it and it'll probably ask you for your permission so I hit yes there um, and then we can go through the install just hit next uh, accept the license agreement and then hit next again hit next again you don't really have to change any options here and then just hit install and then uh, hit next through this and then it's all done so then you can just say launch cam studio I'm not sure how well uh, a, you can just hit OK on that message. Uh, how well this is going to work out because I'm taking a video inside of a video, but I think I can still show you the basic idea behind it. Um, so when it's launched, you're going to see a little uh, program down here that looks like that. It's like just a little in gray. Uh, right click on it, or maybe click on it. Uh, maybe I just need to restart the program. Let's see here. Okay. Okay, now it popped up. I'm, I don't know why it took so long. So when it pops up, uh, there's a few options here. Really, your defaults are going to work pretty well, but uh, the biggest thing is about uh, what you want to record. So if you want to record the whole screen, or if you just want to record an active window. So that's going to be under the Region tab here. So you're going to have Fixed Region, Window, or Full Screen. Full Screen is going to be everything. Window is going to be just the current active window, so if you select Window, and then you have like, uh, I don't know why that's not working. Okay, if you have like this window open, then you would just, the video would just be of this. It wouldn't be anything outside this line right here, or this line, like on the outside. So, and then there's Fixed Region, where you can draw a box, uh, like I can show you how to do that. Fixed Region. Um, like you can type select, hit select there, and then just draw uh, what you want for a region size. Like you can see, that's 745 by 878. Um, or like, like you just uh, with the fixed region. I think it's just messing up right now because I have another <laughs> recorder running. But you click in the top corner, and then you click in the bottom corner of what you want to. Uh, of what you want to uh, actually capture. So then once you have your uh, region drawn, then uh, there's other options here that I will uh, probably explain in a different video, but like the major one might be if you go into video options, um, actually all of that is pretty good. Uh, well actually if you go into video options, there's the uh, quality. The bigger, the higher you make this, the bigger the file is going to be, up to a very large amount like it can be even a gig per every 10 minutes or even larger than that so if your file sizes are a lot are really big and you find that the quality is way more than you need it to be like maybe you're just making little videos that don't need to be high quality then you can turn the video the quality down but if you're making like what you want to be really high quality videos for YouTube like 1080p then turn that all the way up to 100 uh, because it is worth it um, like it, you can notice it when it's really blown up to a big size. And then you can th add things like screen annotations, video annotations. Just play around with that. It'll uh, you'll get like it's just for adding things to the screen. And then uh, the audio options, like you're gonna want to choose the correct microphone. Like I use a uh, a headset, and that's why my audio sounds pretty good. If you're just using the microphone on your laptop, usually it'll have that by default, but if you plug in something extra, like an external microphone, then you're going to have to choose that in the audio options. Like If I go here, 
default input device. My uh, headset is actually this, this Logitech USB headset, where if I just left it as this, it would use the laptop's microphone, which isn't as good and isn't as clear. So that can be important too. Um, and then any other options that really matter, like cursor options, you can have it show the cursor or not show the cursor. And you can even have it highlight it. Like if you choose highlight, then it'll have like a yellow circle around it while you're moving around and makes it easier to see. That can be something you could be interested in. And then uh, the auto pan, it'll follow your cursor. It has a little uh, description there at the bottom down here. If you look there, enable auto pan. Makes the capture area follow the cursor. So if you had a fixed region that you drew that was only like this big, and then you have follow cursor on, then that region will follow wherever your mouse goes. So whenever you move down here, the video would move to a little square down here. So that can be very handy. I usually record the whole screen because I like it for everyone to see everything I'm doing. But um, And then there's auto pan speed for how fast it follows your uh, mouse. And then uh, there's program options like minimize program on start recording. That'll make this window disappear as soon as you hit start recording so that you don't have to shrink it and then edit the video later to edit out the shrinking. Um, there's uh, like play the AVI file when it's done, so the file you actually make. Um, the, where you're going to store the videos is that one. The other stuff doesn't really matter. You can change all that later. So uh, keyboard shortcuts. Uh, I think there's a, yeah, the record, uh, actually the stop key is what you're going to want to uh, notice. It's F9 on this program. So when you hit F9, then it will stop recording. So that's a good thing to use to uh, to then like uh, it, so you don't have to move around the mouse to click on something. So it makes less editing work you have to do. So then you can just hit F9 to stop the recording. Um, other than that, it's all pretty self-explanatory. You can just try it out. But uh, I'll try it here with a so I'll say full screen because I want to record the whole screen and I'm going to go into the options and choose minimize program on start recording and then I'm going to hit record. Okay, and then it shrinks itself and right now it's recording. So when I want to stop it recording, then I can hit the F9 key or I can open this back up. Um, I don't know why it's not opening back up. I think I can just right click on. Okay, then you have pause and stop right here. Uh, if I could hit F9, or you can go down to these options, and if I hit pause, then I can continue the recording later, or I can hit stop. I'm going to hit stop, and then it's going to ask me where I want to save it, and I'll just save it right here as test.avi. .avi is a very common file format, something you can upload right to uh, YouTube, so you can leave it as that. Uh, you can actually change it later from that format to a different format, but that's something for another video. Uh, I would just leave it as AVI if I was you. And then hit save, and then you can just view the video. So uh, it's made, and now I can just hit play. And there it goes. Uh, it might not have the video, cor the audio correct. Actually, I have the audio turned all the way down here. If I turn up the audio, then you can probably hear me talking in it. But yeah, that's the main idea behind it. And you can see that it's kind of cut off right now. It's because I recorded in such a high quality that it's a lot bigger than the screen actually. So uh, I might be able to change the zoom ratio here. Zoom uh, to one quarter. Oh, it's a little too small, one half. So you can see that I recorded the whole screen. And if I jump through the program, through the uh, video here, you can see like what I was actually recording. Here you can see I shrunk the video and moving around the mouse and everything. So you can see it pretty clearly. That's a really good program to use that is 100% free. So uh, I would highly recommend it. I use a different program called Cam Studio. It's produced by TechSmith and it's pretty expensive. Uh, I can show it to you here on Amazon. It's called, or sorry, I use Camtasia, Camtasia Studio. You can see it costs like $270. I got it free from a place I used to work, so that's why I use it. If I didn't have a free copy of it, I probably wouldn't use it. It's nice, but it's probably not worth $300. But if you want a better thing than Cam Studio with more options and everything, then you can use that. So that's what I'm currently using. Is That's what this option down here is. Like it shows you the duration of the video and everything. So it's really good, but it's pretty expensive. So 
and that's a, uh, a choice for you to make. It works basically the same way, but it has just a few more options, works a little sm more smoothly. So, and that's how you make a video of your desktop.